Hey free to play gang, let's take a look at the Temporal Tower. So I'm going to start a new series on Temporal Tower and this can be a cycle every single month. So hopefully these videos would help you with your journey and hopefully you can learn a thing or two about the strategies involved over here. Not necessarily having all the same aspects that I do, but generally speaking, as long as you can follow certain strategies, then you're all good. So we're going to take a look at floor 15 for this video. And I know a bunch of you guys probably already passed this stage without any issues. But since I did receive quite a few requests regarding this specific floor, I'm going to start from this one. So the temporal disturbance over here for every enemy death, surviving enemy units gain an attack bonus and defense bonus. And seeing that they have a height over here, naturally it should be our first instinct to take him out. Because height gets more and more powerful the more his allies die. So our strategy here is to aim height down as soon as possible. But some of you guys also asked me this question, how am I going to deal with the healers? Because the healers heal a lot and they heal very frequently. So the way I deal with this stage is rather simple, okay? So just target height as quickly as possible. He should go down really easily because this is just a floor 15. And as for the two Lauren healers over here, just keep them stun locked as for as long as possible. And as long as you can keep them disabled, everything should be fine. And because they are shimmer types, it is very easy for you to land attacks on them in the same way that they will not land a miss on you as well. So fortunately for you guys, you can bring a whole bunch of different kinds of stunners. You can even use Jan. I think Jan is a really good choice over here. And just keep the two of them stun locked. So for my team, I'm using three stunners, okay? I'm using Jin Yu Yao, I'm using Sander, and I'm also using Tricky. And granted that Tricky is not actually a stunner, but he does have the Zeus Relic set on him. So as you can see, he is doing a perfect job keeping them stun locked. And assuming you are like most players without both Jin Yu Yao and Tricky, there are still many stun options out there. So for one, there is the new White Twin who has an AoE stun on his second skill with a cooldown of only 3 turns. And there are other really good options like Long Mian as well. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, I think this is the best choice. You can use Jean. But if all else fails, you can also use Dahlia, who is one of the free experts that you can get from the Ripple Dimension. She has a very short cooldown on her second skill that has a freezing effect as well. So over here, I'm only using Sender as my main DPS to target down height. And the thing is, I have two different aspects that I interchange a lot. So one is Sender, of course, and the other is, let's say I'm facing a main enemy being a flow type, then I think Sender is not going to be that useful here anymore. And that's where I bring in Tang Yun. So don't forget that Tang Yun also has a stun on his first skill, and he does a tremendous amount of damage as well. And basically all of his skills has a stun because each of his second and third skill can rotate into his first skill, which is where his stun belongs. So I think my team is rather easy to mimic. Just bring a whole bunch of stunners over here. Of course, Sender is not really an option that you can choose to have. But I think in terms of function, the only main Esper over here that may not be as easy to replace is going to be Heng Yue. But thankfully, she is also just a 4-star Esper. And again, if all else really fails, you can just bring Changpu. You can stack immunity buffs so that you can stagger them in the sense that you will never get any debuffs from the enemies. Or you can bring your own Lauren, granted that she doesn't have an AoE heal. And of course, Gabrielle here is one of the best free options that you can have. She's just a fusible Esper, and she brings so much in her kit. She even brings attack debuffs, which is going to be quite useful against like some of the adds over here, and especially the Bardons over here, because when you attack any enemy that has below 50% HP, the Bardon is going to counter-attack you. So apart from just wasting some of your stuns on them, I think it's just a waste, you may also opt for AoE attack breaks using your Gabrielle. So I've talked a lot about the espers that I'm using here, but I have not actually discussed the strategy involved. Well, apart from landing stuns, of course. So ideally, you don't even want to take out any of the Lawrence. You don't even want to take out any of the Bardons. You want to take out height first because any death is going to improve height stats. And the stat gains can get quite crazy, especially if you start snowballing and killing off their other espers. So objectively, what you want to do right now is to take out height first, then followed by both the Lawrence because the Lawrence can revive the height. So just make sure that both of the Lawrence are constantly disabled and then finally, you can take out the Bardons. So when you're down to just the two Bardons, it's going to be really easy. It doesn't matter that their defense is high, it doesn't matter that their attack is high. They are not really going to do anything, that's why they are C-rated Espers. And of course, you may want to minimax like planting your defense buffs right before Hyde uses his AoE. But honestly, it's not too much of a problem and a lot of this content can be just auto once you get rid of some of their key Espers. So I guess that's it for this run. It's rather complicated in practice but simple in theory. But as long as you follow my strategy over here, I can guarantee you that it's going to be a lot easier for you to clear this stage. But do take note that this is actually one of the easier stages of the Temporal Tower this time round. And of course, I'll be going through every single Temporal Tower boss fight. 
And of course, I will show you all my relics towards the end of this video. But if you do find that you have any other questions pertaining to this specific floor or maybe any other floors, let me know down in the comments below and I'll get back to you soonest. So hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more dislike content and subscribing is free and you can always change your mind afterwards. And this has been free to play by the way. And as always, I will see you in the next video.